watching the world burn, watching the world burn, November 16th, 2023. Let's get into it. So the, uh, the first thing that I found fascinating <laughs> was that when Xi came to visit in San Francisco, I'm going to tell you, the Democrats cleaned that up overnight. It was unbelievable. Every, every freaking homeless tent, all the... Uh, the feces that were on the streets, uh, everything was gone. Folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true, because it's true. Now, in the lead-up to the APEC summit, the homeless encampments all throughout downtown San Francisco mysteriously disappeared, and many think this was to give a better impression of the United States, cover up some of the poverty and chronic homelessness that plagues downtown areas in major cities like San Francisco. Many of the homeless people ended up being moved simply to other parts of the city where they're staying in tents or sleeping on the streets. It gets me out of here. They're making up a bunch of rumors. Like, all my clothes got stolen, my shoes, like, and, but that's all sponsored stuff, you know? Um, they moved them out to the, what is it, southwest side because there's less wind out there, so they pay attention more to themselves. But, you know, I kind of want you to think about that. What are the Democrats up to? Well, I think that they have been in the process the warmongering Democrats, let's just call them that, that they're dry, trying to drive down the real estate prices by allowing crime to run rapid, allowing uh, 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 criminals back out on the streets, allowing uh, homelessness. And, uh, and and we just saw that, uh, and even Gavin Newsom came in and he said, yeah, yeah, we, we can clean it up anytime we want. What does that tell you? They're in the hands of BlackRock and the big, uh, the big uh, fish that... They're going to swoop in there and buy up that real estate cheap. I'm just telling you, I, you know, that's, that's just my take on the whole situation in San Francisco because I was absolutely shocked at how fast they cleaned that up. That's what Democrats are. That's what Democrats are, and that's what these people vote for. I don't understand it. So the, uh, the other thing was uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you a video. The uh, Russian technical advances on the battlefield are just astounding. And uh, they built this, this huge new drone factory, and you probably won't hear about it. And, uh, well, let's just watch the drones in action. Wasn't that crazy? And, and what Ukraine is saying is that at any uh, point in time, there's like 300 drones flying over the battlefield. It, it, you know, it kind of reminds me of these science fiction novels, doesn't it? I mean, you know, that I, well, I guess we'll have robots fighting the wars. And, and by the way, I saw a video uh, of a drone taking out a drone. So I think with more and more, we're going to get into robots taking out robots, drones taking out drones. Uh, that's what, I mean, of course, the United States doesn't have any of this. <laughs> so why do you think we want to go nuclear? We want to nuke everybody. That's what the, the Democrats want. The warmongering Democrats, that's what they want. So, uh, and then we've got uh, Adav Adavika. Uh, it, it's about to fall. Um, they, they've got it pretty much surrounded at this point. They've taken the railroad, uh, the railroad tracks in the north. Um, there's a lot of reports coming out from the Ukrainians that uh, they just say, well, how can you stand against it? You've got no air support. Uh, the Russian drones are superior. The Russian gods of war, the artillery, are superior. Uh, the Ukrainians are running out of ammo. And, uh, you know, I mean, I can't even believe they're fighting on at this point. But I, I, I think we need a peace treaty. Uh, of course, but the warmongering Democrats will never allow that because they're in charge of Zelensky. Zelensky's just a puppet of the Biden administration. He has, he has no autonomy or say about what goes on in Ukraine. Uh, that's what the warmongering Democrats are for. 
So let's just keep going. Um, so and, and I do believe Zelensky's he's either going to have to retire to one of his what six mansions I think he's got right now with all of our taxpayer money. Um, he can come to the United States. I think some countries might not allow him in, uh, or he's just going to get assassinated. Uh, that's my opinion. So uh, getting on to create, I mean, I'm just going to kind of bounce around with this video. Uh, boy, the car industry is imploding. <laughs> it was like 20,000 people laid off from uh, Ford, GM, and Chrysler. It might, it might have just been from Ford. I don't, I don't remember the, 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 the video that I watched. I just take down notes as I watch this stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the, the used car, I mean, I, I, like I said, if you want to watch the uh, real estate ninja or the uh, uh, financial ninja or whatever, um, I sold my car at the peak of the, um, of the used car uh, price. Uh, now, I mean, good luck selling a used car for a decent price. I mean, that's, that's all I got to say because used cars are they're going, and new car prices are coming down. Even Tesla uh, dropped their prices on uh, their new cars. That was a while back. Uh, I, I don't know if I reported on that. So, um, yeah, and, and, and this goes back to San Francisco, that the commercial buildings are being bought up for pennies on the dollar. So if you don't think the commercial real estate market is crashing, oh, I got news for you. Now, I, I understand most people will watch my videos, uh, all 10 of you. Uh, you know, you don't care about commercial property, but the rest of the world does. And, and they're talking about converting these into uh, residential buildings. Well, who do you think that's going to be for? I think it's for all the illegal immigrants that have come across the border. And that's where they're going to stick them is in these commercial buildings so that they have a whole, the Democrats, the Democrats want a whole new voting populace. Uh, and, of course, the neocons in Washington, D.C. We've got to include uh, Mittens Romney and uh, Mitch McConnell and uh, uh, Lindsey Graham. I mean, you know, they, they, they don't represent the American people in any way, shape, or form. Of course, and good God, Nikki Haley. Holy shit, she came out and said she wanted to censor the Internet. This is a freaking person run, running for the Republican side. I hope that everybody ditches her, but, you know, I, I guess I don't know. I mean, she's a lunatic calling for censorship. Holy shit! I, I, you know, where where do these people come from? I like Vivek. I man, I tell you, that last debate, he just shredded her, and uh, I, I think she's taken down. So, uh, well, we've got uh, twelve thousand dead uh, civilians. Well, well, this is a low estimate. Uh, dead in uh, Gaza. Uh, I've heard estimates that up to a quarter to a half of them are children. I mean. What do you think that that looks like to the rest of the world? That's genocide. I mean, I, I, I've been told not to say the word genocide, but I mean, I, when you're killing that many children, I don't know. What, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? And, and, you know, and Lazarov has some things to say. Let's watch a couple videos from Lazarov. These days, uh, Washington uh, is highly ideologized. And anything coming from Russia is uh, taken uh, as a hostile act, hostile initiative. But uh, on, um, on substance and practical terms, Washington does not want to tie Israel's hands. Uh, it, it, it works with Israelis, I know this, and uh, pers tries to persuade them uh, to be a little flexible regarding the supply of uh, humanitarian goods, uh, uh, medicines, uh, other stuff necessary for hospitals functioning, and also be flexible for letting the uh, foreigners out of Gaza. Uh, but the key, the key, the key reason I believe that Washington doesn't want this uh, to stop the way which Israel doesn't like. In Turkey, a complaint has been filed with the International Criminal Court against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. It was lodged by Turkish lawyers who accuse him of committing crimes against humanity. The subject of our complaint, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu does not hesitate to use weapons prohibited according to international law. The crimes committed are undeniable, as clear as every drop flowing from the fountain of tears of every person with a conscience which humanity should not condone. It appears that many states... Alright, so that, that, that was good. Uh, 
By the way, uh, you probably haven't heard that Walter Reed uh, Hospital is filling up with uh, U.S. casualties. Um, so yeah, yeah, there is some conflict taking place in uh, in Syria and uh, Iraq. Uh, and Lazarov had some things to say about that. Let's watch that. Uh, these groups believe that the presence of the United States in Syria uh, is absolutely illegal, and this is statement of fact. Uh, the presence of the United States in Iraq also causes quite a number of questions because uh, quite some time ago the Iraqi uh, government and the Iraqi parliament decided that they discontinue the uh, agreement to the, the acquiescence with the U.S. troops present on their soil. Mm. But Americans still keep some 5,000 men there without any, any firm legal ground. So now we've got, uh, well, interest, well, obviously, you know, insurance rates are up, if you haven't noticed that. Uh, inflation is up. And then uh, borrowing is up. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of people are defaulting on their credit cards, which are up at, uh, what, 33% or something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't pay attention to the interest rate because I just pay them off as I use them because I get 5% cash back. That's all that I look at. But uh, And that's the way you should look at it. I hope that you're, I mean, I understand everybody's not in that position, but you can, you need to put things on your side and not on their side, the, the, the government or, so, so the defaults on credit cards and real estate are, are rising uh, dramatically. So, uh, yeah, and then of course, we talked about this, the Ukrainian losses are striking. Uh, I'm here 25 to 1. 25 Ukrainians to every uh, Russian casualty. Uh, but due to the Russian technology, I mean, they are advancing in leaps and bounds. And so this is where I'm telling you that I think that the only way the United States can fight back is with nuclear weapons. And I'm going to get into that towards the end of the video. We're going to talk about that. And, and also, uh, Ukrainian ammo is running out. Uh, I've been hearing reports that uh, they're firing like one round to every, I don't know, how, let's just say 50 rounds that the Russians send in because they just don't have the artillery uh, uh, shells and everything. Of course, now everything's going to Israel. By the way, where's Ukraine in the news? <laughs> where's Ukraine in the news? Have you heard anything about Ukraine? I haven't heard anything about Ukraine. It doesn't exist no more, does it? The narrative is gone. Isn't it amazing how the attention span of the American people just kind of, whoop, gone? Oh, uh, we got, what, 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 one million dead Ukrainians? Uh, have you seen them flags waving as the videos come over and they got these massive grave fields? Uh, and these are what the neocons uh, like uh, Joe Biden and uh, Lincoln and, uh, well, uh, good Lord, I can't remember. Uh, uh, damn it, sometimes my brain don't work. So anyway, the, uh, we'll just continue on. The gods of war in Ukraine average, well, it, and, and by the way, they, they were saying it's like 43 to 1 and 8 mortar rounds to every Russian round. So when you've got that kind of firepower coming from the Russian side to the Ukrainian side, and the Ukrainians can only fire back one round to every 43, or one mortar round to every eight uh, Russian rounds, I mean, what do you think is going to happen? And the latest statistics that I heard is that they've got 300 drones operating over Adivka uh, right now on a constant basis, just kind of hovering around, looking at... You know, these are even better than satellites, these drones are. I mean, I, you know, you're, they're only, what, I think they're up, they said 3,000 feet or something like that. So they really can't, you can't shoot them down. I mean, what are you going to do, shoot a missile at a $1,000 drone? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's crazy. Uh, and then, of course, we talked about the Ukrainian graveyards, and uh, uh, crazy Zelensky keeps wanting the, uh, the Ukrainians to fight on. Uh, that's pretty much it for my notes. Uh, but I did want to give you my, uh, my opinion on where I think the uh, nuclear war is going. Now, right now, we've got a nuclear-powered, uh, a nuclear submarine positioned. We've got the carrier groups there. We've shipped in tremendous amounts of military equipment. So what is the United States gearing up for? They want a war. They want a war in the Middle East. Now, I don't think that the Biden administration, the war of Democrats, the freaking lunatic warmonger Democrats, I don't think they realize how well the Middle East is armed at this point. This is not 20 years ago. 
They've got a lot of missiles. They can take out those carrier groups. They've got torpedoes. They have been spending the last 20 years getting ready for this war. And I do believe that the neocon Republicans and the uh, warmongering Democrats are going to kick this thing off. And I, I do think that American forces are going to get punished. And so at some point, once we've lost thousands upon thousands upon thousands of U.S., well, woke soldiers, uh, the only alternative is nuclear war. Man, I hate to finish the video with such a down note. But that's where I see things going. Peace out. Stay free. Руки. Руки подними. Пойдем только медленно, не спеши. Серега, контроль. Дергайся. Держи, я посмотрю. Ты что тут забыл? Беременная. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna... Cut you down.